Hey Libra, how are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it is a general reading, it means it's not going to be everybody's situation. And also that the roles can be reversed. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And I am doing this a little bit differently this time, so we'll be focusing more on your energy rather than doing it 50-50 between you and your person. So yeah, let's see what is going to come through for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first couple weeks of October 2022. Also, some of you uh, might have birthdays coming up. Happy birthday. Happy birthday if you've already had your birthday. I hope that you get everything that you wish for. All right, Libra, let's see. What is going on here? For the situation we have, the world card crossed by the Empress. Okay, so there is something that is coming to a completion successfully, all right? Um, and the challenge for you is to just really believe in yourself, really believe in this completion, whether it is an ending, whether it is, you know, a movement towards a success, whether it is a closing out of a chapter in your life, whatever it is, or even if it's just moving towards a completion of something, you know, like even, um, it could even be going back to school. I know this is a love reading, but you know, anything can come through in these readings regardless. So take the messages as they resonate. It's just all about you trusting and believing in yourself that you got this, okay, whatever it is. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be that whatever this completion is, this is something that in the recent past it had started, or there's something here where there was this new path or like a new potential here. We'll see more when we clarify. In your consciousness, we have the King of Swords. In your subconscious, we have the Eight of Cups. All right. Your current energy, the Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, and I think Gemini had this card exactly in this position. The other person's energy here, we have the Chariot coming up. The Six of Wands. All right, there it is, that success. Like, you're totally headed towards success. And the message for you here is the Four of Pentacles. All right, Libra. Let's see. Um, just overall here, you're really standing in your power. I feel like, you know, you're being determined. You are pulling on your willpower and you are just making things happen. You are focused and yeah, you are also detaching from something emotionally here. So I do feel like whatever this completion is, whatever it is that you're moving towards, it's also requiring a detachment. And it might not be easy, but you are doing it, right? You're very focused on this. Um, for the other person here with the chariot, first of all, this is um, cancer energy. So some of you might be dealing with a cancer. It definitely does not have to be. This person is moving. And I don't know in what way. We'll see more when we clarify. It could be in different ways for each of you. But this person is definitely moving. But I also kind of get that this is the effect on you from the other person like really dragging you forward because I do see you having a lot of drive here and a lot of willpower, a lot of determinism and just, you know, really being strong. So yeah, we will see. You're definitely moving towards success um, concerning whatever this situation or issue is. And with the Four of Pentacles, um, I actually feel like, you know, you're the guidance here is for you to just really, you know, stand strong in your ground, you know, um, possibly even just to hold things for yourself, like, <laughs> and this is going to sound weird, but, you know, maybe not sharing something, maybe something you used to share, um, not really sharing. So whatever that means to some of you could be a very specific message just for some of you. Let's see, let's get into this. All right, so let's clarify the world card with the Empress. 
what is this about? Let's see. Ooh, the Six of Wands again. The Lovers and the Two of Wands. Okay, so it does feel like, um, you know, you... There's definitely a love connection here, and of course, you know, this is a love reading. I'm just saying, you know, I do get that for some of you. This might not necessarily be that love-related. It could be that love plays in in some way, but I feel like for a lot of you, this completion might not be in terms of a connection, okay? Um, for others of you, it definitely is. We also have Gemini's energy showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. So there is some kind of a completion here, all right? There is some kind of an ending, some kind of a closing something out, and this is happening successfully. And again, what I'm getting here is that it's really about you, you know, not having doubts and allowing yourself to just go through with it whatever it is because I feel like you're thinking a lot about it for some of you it might have to do with making a choice um, even between two different situations all right maybe um, a situation and a partner or maybe even two different people it really depends and for others of you this is just bringing about an ending to a particular connection even if you felt very very strongly about it and I'm getting here, you know, like there's a little bit of having these doubts of not almost like, you know, you're almost at that final step. And it's like right be before you make that final um, move, which would be like, OK, like now it's done, like I've reached the finish line. You're like, OK, wait, wait, is this really, you know, like what I want? Is this really, you know, do I can I really handle this? And I'm getting that, yes, 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 you can. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles for the recent past. The Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's a new path that opened up here for you. Um, so this is a little confusing. I don't know, maybe this is, if it's the same situation, maybe this is a new situation and that's why you're closing out an, an old situation. Um, but there's definitely a new path that opened up here. Or if it's the old situation, you know, this is just something where you felt like, yeah, you know, like it was moving towards that Ten of Pentacles. It was moving towards, you know, reaching that... <clears throat> um, that final state and you know come to think of it for some of you this completion might even be it might not be an ending it might even be reaching that being like okay i'm taking that final step <clears throat> to bring a connection you know um into union for example okay so it's going to be different for each of you but that's definitely a scenario um that is playing out here as well okay so there is a new path here um in love all right that opened up in the recent past or at some point in the past and I feel like you know for a lot of you this this did this is something that had the potential for that ten of pentacles for being long-term stable committed let's see let me see this king of swords The Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. You're determined here even though it's hard. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, it's not something that is easy. And again, as I said, I feel like you are, you know, you're at the nine. You're like one step before having, you know, this successful completion whether it be coming into union with somebody or whether it be letting go of that, okay? It could go either way. Um, you're strongly getting the message here, don't give up. Don't give up, you're almost there. You're almost there, Libra, whatever this is. And whatever it is, you know, it's... I feel like things are going to get lighter. Things are getting lighter with this Three of Cups. Things are getting more enjoyable, whatever that is. Even if it's hard right now, it's going to be more enjoyable, more lighthearted. For some of you, yes, this definitely could be about having um, a reconciliation with somebody or a coming together with somebody. That's showing up here as well. Let's see the Eight of Cups because even in order to do that, I feel like you know, you're know you detaching from something. Like even if this is a, a reconnecting or a coming together with someone, you're still detaching from something here. 
Seven of Swords, and the Empress. Something, this is like removing yourself from a situation that was deceptive, something that was just not in alignment with you. And again, with the Empress showing up, you are doing it. You just have to believe that you are this Empress and that you can have this completion, whatever it is. You can have this completion because it is going to be successful. You are that Empress. You can detach yourself from whatever it is that was not in alignment with you and intuitively you know it was not in alignment with you. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles for your current energy here or what you are focusing on. The Knight of Wands and Death. Ooh, okay, so Scorpio also showing up. Wow. Uh, Libra, you are really focused here. You're putting in that work and you've been putting in the work. And I don't even know if you realize it or not. Because it might feel like to you, like, you know, yeah, I kind of am, but then I kind of am not. Or maybe you feel like the work that you've been putting in isn't all that consistent. So you might feel like, yeah, like you just were not consistent in this. And this might be part of why you're feeling like you... You, don't, you either don't believe in yourself or you're just not so sure that you can have that completion. Um, no, you can. There is definitely a transition here. There's something that has shifted. So even if there was some in and out, even if there was fluctuation, I feel like you are just showing up as being more determined here. That's part of this transformation. And you are working on this, whatever it is, you're ending something and because of that ending, something else is either completing or something else is coming into the picture. Let's see the chariot, which is connected to someone else's energy here. The Wheel of Fortune and the world showing up again. Wow. Yeah, there is definitely, definitely a completion. <laughs> the wheel is turning in a different direction, like something what is this? I don't know what this person is doing. Again, I feel like this is more like the effect on you. Um, but it's like this person is also taking some action here. Whatever, I, and I feel like Spirit is saying it's not important what this person is doing at this point. What's all you need to know is that, you know, whatever it is that this other person is doing, it's bringing about this completion. It's helping you to bring about this completion. To bring about this ending whatever it is that they are doing um, for some of them I mean it definitely could be that they're dealing with their own completion or with their own ending or with their own shifts and transitions yeah that could definitely be it too but I'm mostly getting the first message as being the important one here for you that their actions are also pushing you in that direction so if you've been feeling that and you've been thinking yeah you know what this other person like they're acting like this 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 and this whatever even if it's something good and this is the person you're moving towards they are affecting you in this way so if you've been feeling that yeah you know that's just validation and that you are moving in the right direction here so just trust yourself let's see the six of wands Again, let's not forget that the roles can be reversed, okay? So you could be a Libra, but maybe this is your person's energy. So just take it as it resonates. For the Six of Wands, we have the Magician and the Hierophant. Wow, okay. So also Aries and Taurus. You are manifesting something really, really big here. And it's not only big, it's going to be successful successfully big and bigly successful <laughs> wow um and it's a major thing all right with this hierophant this is not something like trivial this is not like you know a fling or something small or just you know whatever no this is something big like this is commitment this is like higher learning but to the point where it's going to really shift your life 
in a very profound way and it's very successful and you are manifesting that. All you have to do is just believe in yourself. And I know that that sounds cheesy, but that's the message here. You are this freaking empress and she's showing up in your challenge. Like you just have to believe that you have this. You have control, you are abundant, you can create, you can give birth to the, whatever this is, to something new, and you can complete what it is that needs to be completed. And if there's an ending, you can overcome that ending. You can bring it. And that's creating something new. Wow, I feel like, uh, I think Gemini's reading was also very positive in this direction. Like, there's just, yeah, a lot of positivity in the air signs. I hope Aquarius is similar as well. All right, let's see. Four of Pentacles for the message for you. Six of Swords and the Page of Wands. Okay, so first of all, some of you might be walking away from a situation that was limiting you, that was holding you back. Maybe it was somebody who was, if this is very, very specific, um, just an example, somebody that was very, very stingy, you know, and just not giving at all. Um, again, as I said in the beginning, you know, I feel like there's also a specific message here for some of you to not share something. And I don't know what that is, but to just move away and not give your energy to something that, you know, was not working for you or that you know you are trying to complete you know don't give energy in the opposite direction here you're taking a new direction here it's like you are literally moving you are moving so it could even be that you're moving locations and if it's not that like you are just totally leaving something in the past here and you're getting that support to keep doing that and it, and I feel like you, what you've done here is you've built like some kind of a solid foundation or you're being encouraged to, you know, focus on that foundation that's going to feel sturdy and solid to you so that you can go about this completion. And I feel like it's already there anyway. It's already there anyway. It's just a matter of you believing in this and it's like that foundation is just taking form. All right, Libra. Whew, I just had the blessed card um, flip over. So yeah, I feel like, you know, you are blessed. You are having divine guidance at the moment. You're having divine support. And you're just really moving towards whatever your purpose is or whatever it is that is meant for you. So if this resonated for you, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get the final oracle message for you. And we... <laughs> I literally like this card like popped into my mind right before I pulled it out time to go because that's what it is this is it's time to go it's go time it's go time Libra um, you're completing something here and it's going to be successful don't hold back and that's the other message I'm getting here with this four Pentacles you know don't share but also don't hold back from your own self don't hold back from your own self all right Libra those are your messages thank you so much for watching much love